I've got a box. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's been a while and yes, I seem to start every single video like that because everything always gets delayed. Anyway, we're back. There's loads of things that have happened. It is 2021 for starters. This is the first video that I am uploading this year. I have completely different hair and I have a new laptop. I've been waiting so long to do this video because I have been filming loads of videos in the background that you don't know about, but I haven't been able to edit them because my 2013 macbook died well not fully died but it's pretty dead but anyway we're here now unboxing the macbook pro 13 inch 2020 i'm gonna try and start off the year to a good start although my laptop should have been here ages ago at least it's here now so so here it is I've never actually, fun fact, owned a brand new MacBook at all in my life. I had an iMac that was a restored one, so it wasn't brand new. And the laptop I have been using, the MacBook Pro, was actually secondhand. That basically explains why it's pretty old and <laughs> dead. <laughs> I've already waited long enough, so let's just get stuck in. So as I said earlier, I've been waiting for this for ages, since November. And between then, obviously it's been Christmas, but it's also been my birthday. And I've asked for a couple of things for it. So I've had these accessories just lying around and not having a home. So I've opted for a forest green case for my laptop. And that's because I have an iPad Pro 2020 as well. And I had this beautiful forest green case for it. And I've also got my AirPods with the same color case. So as you can see, everything's kind of, not exactly the same but it's pretty much the same by having all the same cases for everything it just fits really nice and looks really nice and basically just protects everything so i'm gonna put that case on now there we go it fits i've also got this sleeve i will want to like carry around my ipad and my laptop at the same time inside we have like an actual divider just like that we can fit my ipad and my laptop in one funny thing is this weighs about the same as my 2013 <laughs> MacBook, so it's quite a big difference for obviously post COVID when you can go traveling. I can carry two things that weigh the same thing as one and take up less space. So, the next accessory I've got for my laptop already is one of these little hubs. This is going to be very handy because obviously on the Macs, they've basically cut all the adapters out now, especially for what I'm used to. I'm used to having my SD reader, HDMI, USBs, etc. etc. And now they've just cut it down to the headphone jack on one side and then and two USB C's. So the reason why I went for this design is just because I feel like a wire is a lot safer than having the ones that just slot in on the side solid because you've just got two USB C adapters hanging out and if you lean on it or it falls you've instantly broke the whole hub. And to be honest I already have USB C's to USB adapters. This literally does the job. Now a couple things before I actually end the video is just why did I get this one? On over the air or why didn't I hold on for a 16 inch or rumored 14 inch laptop and to be honest I couldn't wait because my laptop was dead it literally died the day of the launch the new MacBook and as much as I'd absolutely love a 16 inch I actually feel like it's a better option that I have a smaller laptop one because there are 
ridiculously expensive and although I'm sacrificing screen size I've still got the same power as like the 16 inch Intel one does. Another reason is just because I have an iPad I can always set it up as a dual screen setup and I can also if I'm really desperate plug it into a separate external monitor. If anything it's making my life easier basically just carrying around my iPad. So I did upgrade this laptop to 16 gigabytes of RAM and the main reason why I went for a pro is because of the fans. Although it's cool not to have any fans, it's kind of a pun. Although it's cool, I know that for the amount of work that I'm going to do on this, I do need a fan. Literally the M1 chip is just the new generation of technology for Apple. Obviously that comes with risks, like first generation of technology for anything, whether it's phones, laptops, tablets, anything. They'll always encounter problems and I know that, but the next thing I'm really excited for is the battery life. My MacBook, my 2013 one, literally I had to use it plugged in. As soon as I took it out, I literally saw it draining. So this is gonna be a new life. I've never used a touch bar, never used the touch ID. And another feature is the instant wake. It's literally instant. It always sounds stupid when people and creators especially are just saying, oh, this is laggy, oh, this takes so many seconds to load. But honestly, it makes all the difference. That instant wait feature is just insane. I love it. And I know that Rosetta is being used for a lot of software at the moment. The companies haven't got up to the Apple Silicon yet, but saying that there are some software that has already took that leap and they've already done it. So I reckon within the next year or so, so everything will be okay. From what I've seen already using Rosetta, it works so fast. And I know that it's not using the M1 chip to the best of its ability, but compared to me using a 2013 MacBook Pro, I think it's gonna be pretty fast. This laptop is gonna be a massive, massive jump in performance for me. So yeah, there you go. That is a very quick unboxing of the MacBook Pro 2020 with the M1 chip. Hopefully at some point in the future, I'll do a follow-up video about like my user experience, how it is with editing. Maybe I'll compare it to my 2013 one. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. There are more videos to come. I filmed them all last December, pretty much. So prepare to go back in time if you're gonna stick around and watch them. But if you did enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up button subscribe down below for more videos and hit the notification bell stay safe stay well and stay sane <laughs> and i will see you next time bye